Welcome to our 18th episode in our theory playlist here at Play Piano. Today is a real turning point in our music theory journey. We will be looking at the different types of three note chords or triads. A triad is made up of three notes that are either stacked above each other or played in succession. There are six types of triad and each can be dissected into two stacking intervals. Let's take a quick look at them. The first and most common triad is the major triad. It is composed of the first, third, and fifth scale degrees of whatever major scale the bass note is a part of. If we dissect it into intervals, we can see a major triad has above the root, a major third, and a perfect fifth. No matter what note you start on, if you put a major third and a perfect fifth above it, you will have a major triad. I hope that makes sense. The next triad is the second most common, the minor triad. It is composed of the first, third, and fifth scale degrees of whatever minor scale the bass note is a part of. You will notice that the difference between the parallel major and minor chords, which are major and minor chords with the same letter name, is only noticed in the following semitone from major third to minor third above the root of the chord. The root of the chord, or triad, is whatever the chord is called. If I asked you to play a G major chord, or triad, then G would be the root. The next chord type is diminished. Like the minor triad, the diminished also has a lowered third, a minor third. The diminished chord has a lowered fifth as well, a diminished fifth. If the bass note was C, you would have to write an E flat and a G flat above. After diminished is augmented. The augmented triad has a major third and an augmented fifth above the bass note and has a very specific sound to it. If we were trying to make an F augmented chord, we would have to draw a major third, so A, and an augmented fifth above, so C sharp. Augmented chords are great for creating suspense, surprise, and anger. The last two of the chords left to talk about are suspended chords. But before we do, it's important to know that in music theory, the most important note of a triad is the third note, which tells us the quality, major or minor, for example. It is this note that is being suspended. In its place, it's either the fourth degree, so perfect fourth, or the second, which is the major second. Both fill-ins will resolve to the third, but until then, the sus2 and the sus4 serve wonderfully in suspense building, dramatic moments, or sultry ballads. If the root note of the chord is C, then the next note in, say, a C sus2, for example, would be C, D, and G. A C sus4 would be spelled C, F, and G. Each of these spellings are missing the third, so just know that it is very important to resolve the suspended notes to the third of the next chord. Your next step is to listen over and over to these different types of triads and develop a sensitivity for the different flavors of each. Then start completing the worksheets in the Play Piano Theory Book to really help integrate this new concept. That's really all there is to learning your triads and we'll see you in the next video.